Tonight is the members opening for the Art in the Streets show at the MoCA. And there are a lot of people expected here tonight. There are already crowds gathering outside. Hey, y'all going in tonight? You might want to think about that. This show is about the censorship of graffiti and bringing it onto the reservation. There are going to be various types of protesting going on this evening. 90% of the artists I love in the exhibit, I totally support their work. But the question remains is who legitimizes this? Do we really need the market as the driving force of our culture? Yes, we're going to go do a protest piece uh, regarding Blue's uh, Cedric Mural. Who was originally commissioned um, by the curator or director of the MoCA, Jeffrey Deitch. Jeffrey Deitch commissioned the Italian artist Blue to come out here and paint this wall, and uh, Blue did an excellent job. Which was basically an anti-war mural. These adults decided that, that wasn't a topic that we should be discussing and painted over it. Dyche said the reason he made the decision to have Blue's mural whitewashed was because of its proximity to the Japanese American War Memorial and also of uh, the population of veterans down in Little Tokyo. He admits that he never asked any of that community how they felt about the mural. There was no time for any community discussion. It was taken down in a day. And what do you think this mural means? I have no idea. It looks like something that would be on the side of an elementary school. The Mobile Mural Lab and all these other artists are here to uh, protest and, and contest that action. So this is the Mobile Mural Lab. This is the heart of the lab. This is the brains of the operation. And this is basically space where we discuss mural politics in Los Angeles. So we feel that the streets is a true public space. And that's where most of our everyday interactions happen. So that's why this project is moving. This is a project actually we did a couple months back where we brought the blue mural back. And of course, free from censor because it's the power lab. We're out here to Ucho because Hichikata Tatsumi was a protester in Ucho art. And we shall do the same thing. So Buto began in the late 1950s with two men, Hijikata, and then his partner Ono, Katsuo Ono. And the two of them put together this dance form. They both were practitioners of modern dance before that. Its inception and continuation of the form has always been about going against the grain of any other kind of dance. So it's definitely insurgent art. It always has been that. What one finds is that it is completely against any sort of formal dance training one might have and dance experience in that normal dance we think of and we, we are used to doing in a form that is external with certain body postures, making beautiful forms in space, rhythmically to music usually. Buto is completely the opposite of that. You're using internal imagery, internal ideas, and you're letting these things come out in however they manifest themselves. So it's quite different as a performer and for the audience as well.
Ministry artist still remains outspoken in defense of Blue, the artist who was censored by Jeffrey Deitch, the Museum of Contemporary Art director. This particular culture culture controls the market, the media, and its language. The secondary market, like its brother, the judicial system, is blinded by what it sees. So when a Latino tiger tags the streets, it is declared an irresponsible act of vandalism by the district attorneys and its judicial system. Society then rewards the young barrio artists by sending the talented outsider to prison. What was significantly revealed through its censored act was that the Wall Street speculators and the art world culture of speculation are all cut from the same pattern ilk. Both worlds resemble underworld, seedy, rico, backroom trading enterprises. In an infinity, both markets revolve around mercantile speculators who through clever inside trading, marketing, and publicized means and objectives exist to inflate and hype the prices of so-called blue chip commodities. Somehow, in the exhibition, we see that Swoon, McGee, and Shepard Ferry happen to be in the exhibition, and by coincidental chance, they are also former clients of Jeffrey Deitch, and also represented by Deitch Projects. Graffiti art in the context of a museum is more about a public relations interest, less about a relation with the public.
for blue. Mocha, you're wrong for trying to charge for hip hop. I am hip hop. You can't charge me for this. I create it. Do not turn me into a commodity. I'm real.